this is how immaturity works. I've now heard the Lord and it brings us so much validation to say, oh, thus said the word of God. And we speak that, oh, oh, oh there's about to be a flood in Montego Bay. There's about to be a heat wave in Kingston. And we sit and we wait for the earthquake. We sit and we wait for flooding. And we say, I prophesied this two weeks ago. I told you as a prophet of the Lord, God said I was going to do this. You need a holy slap. How do you rejoice that your prophetic word of disaster has now come to pass? How do you rejoice to say, I told you so? And we're back and we look back for the post we made and screenshot it. See, I told you this would happen two weeks ago at this time and so and so and so. To understand divine maturity, there are things that God will give you and it will hurt. Maturity hurts. Maturity hurts. It's not an easy place. There are things you'll want to say and do. You're not permitted to do it. You know how many times I'm in certain situations and I may have the right and I can pull out the receipts and me can prove that the sister, the other man of God, they said this and do this. And them they pass social media and I talk to them other pastor and say so and so and so. And I'm saying, God help me, God help me, God help me. And the Holy Spirit just hold on for me and say, No, remember, say mature. And I say, But God, I can't prove they're wrong. And he said, Remember, you're mature. I said, God, but I have proof. And he said, No, you're mature. And I have to resort back to a place called maturity. And the only thing me can do a ball. I said, God, but I'm innocent maturity means sometimes you're going to be broken for the sake of God even when you're in the right it requires you to be silent and allow God to have vengeance for you maturity means you have to love You think maturity is easy. It takes so much from you. You have to love regardless of and in spite of. There's some people you don't want to forgive in life, but you have to forgive them. Because maturity, it, maturity is expecting this of you. There's only one way you can walk in your prophetic gifting. There's only one way you can walk in your prophetic assignment. And it's represent Christ. And that is through love. Has anyone ever gotten to a point? Have you ever gotten to a point in your life? Where you have just said in your mind, I'm tired of being the bigger one. I'm tired of being the mature one. I'm tired of being the one having to always compromise. But then the Holy Spirit convicts you and pulls you up. And says, listen, this is, this is not something you choose to do. This is something that you are required to do. What if God says, today I don't feel like being God. After all the sins you have committed, all the mess you have made. What if God says, I don't feel like being God today. He says, to whom much is given, much is required. As a servant of God, as a prophet of God, as a Christian of God, you have to become so mature that you're selfless and you're empty. It is not longer about you but it is now about God being a prophet is not a title being a seer is not a title it's a responsibility being a pastor is not a title it's a responsibility